How's everybody doing? Um, let's get some oxygen in our brains. Can everybody s slowly stand up for me? Okay. And uh, just do what I do. Get a little wiggle in there while you're at it. And now repeat after me. We're going to call and respond. Are you ready? Ba 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 ba. Ka 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 ka. Da 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 da. Fa 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 fa. Ha 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 ha. 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 Qua 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 qua. Arg matey. Arg Snake. Snake. Ta 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 ta. Fa 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 fa. Oh 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 Hey, does the world need actors? Yeah. Does the world need artists? Yeah. yeah, I figured that this group would be of that mindset. Um, interestingly enough, I get a wide variety of answers on this question. And I'm going to um, ask us to adopt the mindset that what we're going through with this improv play is both helpful for both product and for process. And so let's recap that process that we've talked about today. Make your partner look good and feel smart. Uh, train your brain to go with your gut. And now we're moving on to that other element, which is yes and. When these three things are used in tandem, it creates a very powerful environment where work can become easeful, more fun, and often more productive. So some of my favorite colleagues do this yes and thing really well. These are actors or people who accept what I say and build on top of it. Uh, they accept everything and reject nothing. Once it is said, it is so, and we go with it. And those rehearsals and shows are usually insanely fun for me. So I want us to explore that idea of yes and uh, a little bit more. So I have a group of volunteers that I have handpicked backstage, and they're going to pick two volunteers from out of here. So could my volunteers come out with me? Um, welcome to the stage, Ellen, John, and Bobby. Okay. Good, good, good. Okay. So they're going to be um, picking two people out of the audience, and they're going to do the same game you're going to do, only you're going to do it in partner pairs. They're going to do it in a larger group of five because they are going to perform their game for us when we're done creating our partner games. So um, let's see, Ellen, I think I have tasked you and John with picking two more teammates. Could you do that for us? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wonderful. Welcome her to the stage, everyone. Thank you. Good. Okay. So do we have everybody now? Oh, awesome. Who do we have? Jonathan. Okay, Jonathan is with us, and Caitlin. All right, so we have our team of five. Now, these guys are going, we're going to all play a game called Yes and That Means. So, team, while I'm explaining it to them, you guys can listen. You'll, we won't see the product of your work for another two or three minutes. Uh, but this is how everybody plays. This is a one-sentence story-building game, meaning that the story you're about to create with your partners is created one sentence at a time. It starts from a truth statement, and only one truth statement, because everything after that first sentence is completely fabricated.
You have a hall pass to make this up. Uh, in fact, we want you to make it up. So, for instance, let's say that I am a uh, part of this team, and I say, this weekend I went to the beach. And if I went to the beach, I can say that. I can make it something big, like, um, last month I got married, which that's not true. But if it were true, I could say it. Or if I stubbed my toe this morning, it could be as mundane as that. But I want to start with what I call a truth statement. So I say that statement. Every sentence after that is going to start with the four words, yes, and that means every single one. Consequential ordering of the story. Making sure that they are somehow justifying what's come before. So here's an example. This weekend I went to the beach. Yes, and that means you got a sunburn. Yes, and that means you had to go to Walgreens and get aloe vera. Yes, and that means you're out eight bucks. Yes, and that means you can't go to the movies with Jake. Yes, that means he's going to take Sarah instead. Yes, that means I'm going to die a lonely cat woman. Okay, great. So that might be my story, right? It's a timed story, so you'll have exactly one minute to rapid fire, go with your gut, and create a story one sentence at a time, getting as far around the circle as you can, as often as you can, for you guys back and forth with a partner. These guys are going to show us the fruits of their labor after we're done doing what we're doing. So you guys will get to create up here, upstage. We'll work out here, and then we'll all come back together when we hear the bell ring. Okay, so if you guys will head up there. We are going to find a partner, and all we want to do is look across to them. One person starts with a truth statement. You go back and forth for 60 seconds saying, yes, and that means. Stay away from probablys. Stay away from maybes. Stay away from shouldas. No, if you can say it, you can make it so. So speak with authority, okay? Uh, 60 seconds begins... Now. Did you have stories that went somewhere? Did you have stories that ended in a radically different way than you expected them to? Then you did your job co-creating. Good job. Pat yourself somewhere. Okay. <clears throat> we want to hear this group's story and see what we've got. We might do a little doctoring if we need to, but let's find out how they did. Okay, team. Could you stand in the order that you created it? Is this the order you stood in? Yeah. Okay, great. Who was first? John was first. All right, great. So what we want you guys to do is if you could just simply stand in a, in a line taking center stage here. We want you to out loud to our uh, audience here 
say your story out loud one sentence at a time the way you created it back there. We want you to retell that story just with narration. Okay. I went to the mountains this weekend. Yes, and that means he froze his butt off. Yes, and that means he rubbed it to warm it up. <laughs> yes, and that means he went to the Walgreens to get a blanket. <laughs> yes, and that means that his blanket was good to take on a picnic. And that means your picnic smelled like a rear end. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and that means you starved. <laughs> yes, and that means you got that trim figure you were looking for. <laughs> yes, and that means that all the ladies in the neighborhood were after you. <laughs> yes, and that means that your girlfriend was angry at you. <laughs> Yes, that means I turned into a lonely old cat man. <laughs> <laughs> and that means he bought a lot of litter. Yes, and that means his house turned into a giant sand trap. <laughs> yes, and that means that all the sand just dehydrated his nose. <laughs> yes, and that means that he had to get tissues for his nose. And yes, and that means I used the tissues to fight the sand snakes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and that means he lost. <laughs> yes, and that means his cats avenged him. <laughs> yes, and that means that dogs had to come in and attack the cats. <laughs> yes, and that means that the dogs ran away. And that's the story. Okay. <laughs> so, now, is Susan Lyon still here? Susan Lyon, are you here? No, I just, just wave at me for a second. Susan is a good friend of mine from the library, Richland Library, and um, they do something at the Richland Library that I used to enjoy a lot with my uh, then toddler son, and that's story time in the children's room. Team, I want you to retell that same story like you're telling this to an audience of five-year-olds. And now, what do we know about storytellers in those venues? We know that they are loud and proud, they're very animated, and there's lots of um, movement to what they're doing, okay? So um, when it's your turn to speak, if you would just step forward and engage this curious group of five-year-olds and tell this like it's uh, story time at the library, but the additional kicker is I want you to tell it as fast as you can. Are we ready? All right, story time at the Richland Library. I went to the mountains this weekend. <laughs> yes, and that means, guys, he fought a mountain lion. <laughs> yes, and that means that he went home with crazy lines on his face from his call. <laughs> yes, and that means that the lines on his face made him look old. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and that means that all the neighborhood children made up stories about him and he was creepy. <laughs> yes, and then I became the creepy old neighborhood cat. <laughs> and TP'd it every Halloween. <laughs> yes, and that means many of them became buried under the litter. <laughs> yes, and that means they're buried under the litter and almost could never see the sun again. <laughs> yes, and that means since you're only five year olds, that's too scary, so they did see the sun. <laughs> saw the sun, they saw a magical unicorn. <laughs> and when they saw the magical unicorns, they wanted to ride them, so they hopped on and went to Care Bear Land. <laughs> yes, and that means there was a lot of candy. <laughs> yes, and that means that they had to brush their teeth. <laughs> Yes, and that means that after they brush their teeth, their parents read them a story. And stop right there. Okay, give them a round of applause. That's great. All right, one more. Now, now we want to see you move this from narration to a play. So we're going to now go from narrated story to action and dialogue, and they have 60 seconds to show that story. So where you see characters are needed, don't wait for anybody to ask you to step forward, just you adopt that character. Some of us might be uh, inanimate objects, some of us might be other characters. So think about where the characters were and then have some fun acting those things out in dialogue and action form. Now working as a team, all right? You know the story, we've heard it twice, sorta. <laughs> It grew a little bit, which is a great fishing story, right? 
Um, and so, as a team, if you would just step back, and we've got 60 seconds from the first word that's spoken. All right, you ready? Yep, you can put all the dialogue in there you want. Characters can talk to each other, but there's no third-party narration. No third-party narration. I am going off to the mountains where I will climb the mountain <laughs> up to the top. Is it a mountain I have to <laughs> One more. One more. Now they have to show us this exact same story in 30 seconds. Now, you can't fit Alaska in Rhode Island, right? You're going to have to condense and shrink wrap some things. Let's see what they choose to shrink wrap. One clue, team, um, if you condense the area of the space where you're working, it'll help you do it faster. All right, here we go. 30 seconds and go. <laughs> That's it.